right, so I'm here today doing a different kind of video. I'm with student Dr. Ian. How are we doing, boss? Great, great. Awesome. So we're going to do a seated cervical. And I wanted to do a breakdown because you probably know this, but we're in Miami now. So if you're in Miami, you got to stop by and visit. We're in Rejuve. Our office is called Rejuve Wellness. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a breakdown video on seated adjustments. And I'm going to start doing more instructional videos because you know we have an online university www.thechiropracticuniversity.com and this is where we have an online training platform where we go through training adjustments, setups, uh, muscle rehab, etc. Everything pertaining to care and clinical care. And what I want to do is break down something that I see docs doing that's no bueno, not good, and then the correct way to do it. So when we see a seated cervical, the correct way, if we're going to adjust a T1 on this big, big dude, how much uh, How much do you weigh, bud? 240. 240. And how tall are you? 6'2". Guy's a monster, okay? So I want to do a seated cervical. And the correct way is that I'm going to take a tissue pull. So here's T1. I'm going to come down to T3. I'm going to pull up. I'm going to get my finger under T1. Now, yes, I have big hands. However, on big dudes, this is harder for me than on, let's say, a little woman or a little man. What do we do? Well, I'm going to show you what not to do first, and then I'm going to show you what to do. So what I see all too often is this, and this is how you know that you're getting an adjustment that, you know, is not maybe up to par of what it could be. So the doc's going to come over here. They're typically going to come here. And then you're gonna see this. You're gonna see their hand really close to the neck, maybe even cupping the ear. You're gonna see them get really close and you're gonna see them turn the head. Oh, I even felt a little movement there. Wow, I'm really good. <laughs> Not, we don't want that kind of movement. So if I'm here and he's in lateral flexion and I'm rotating his head away, that's actually not good. That's not a good adjustment. So what I'm doing is I'm going against the coupled motion of the spine. Coupled motion means two things are happening at once. So you stay in this position. So when we bend his head to the right, like so, the spine is processed, this pointy thing in the back should actually twist to the left. To the left. But what I'm doing by doing this adjustment is I'm bending him here if I'm doing it wrong, and I'm pulling it to the right, bending it and pushing it wrong, this, I'm going against normal spinal motion. I got the cavitation, but I'm not doing him a service. So what do you do? Well, it's not that there's never a time to rotate in the spine. There are some times, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my setup like we talked about, so I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna bring my fingers up to that T1, and I really wanna make sure I have that in my fingers, and I'm gonna use these three fingers to back up that initial one, and sometimes I even need to put my elbow in towards my side. I'm gonna bring him over in extension slightly, and I'm gonna drive this way, P to A, posterior to anterior, and I'm gonna try my absolute best to use little to no rotation, because I actually wanna drive this way and have a little bit of a torque pushing that way and drive the vertebrae straight into position. We doing okay, bud? Mm -hmm. All right, so here we go. We're gonna lift up, we got that vertebrae. I'm gonna stagger my stance. Do you feel a fair amount of pressure there? Mm -hmm. Okay, is it painful? No. Cool. So we're gonna go here, I'm gonna pull him into extension, we're gonna breathe in, all the way out. I'm gonna bring him back, and then I'm gonna use my body here, and we're gonna adjust. Now, how do we do, sir? Great. Awesome, any pain? No. Cool, so he's a big guy, we got a small movement, but we went straight through the disc. Now, I'm gonna to check to see if he needs something else, and sure enough, mid-lower cervical spine on the other side. So we're gonna do the same application, but on the other side, so come on this way. So over here, remember the incorrect way to do a seated cervical adjustment, and I see this all over the internet. 
and I'm gonna cup him here or even like this and I'm gonna turn him like that. How does that feel? Not good. Not good. Okay, let's see what we can do. We find the vertebrae that's out of alignment. We come a couple segments below. We make our tissue pull up. Notice I'm standing behind him rather than here because if I'm here, how can I go this way? I'm, I'm trying to push with my hand. It doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna stand behind him. I'm gonna bring him over my hand. I'm gonna lighten my grip a little bit, bring him over and drive straight through. The key when we're doing these adjustments is we lift up and then we set downwards because the disc in the cervical spine goes like this. So when we're looking at his disc, here's his neck, and we have to go up and through the disc. But what we don't wanna do is bend and rotate and put him in this compromising position like this and like this and make off like we did a good thing. We doing all right? Mm -hmm. If you want more information on this, you can always go online to www.thechiropracticuniversity.com where we have an online platform with all types of adjusting videos, the setup, the tissue pool, the adjustment, the post check, and we have a private Facebook group where you can post videos of yourself adjusting, get constructive criticism, and we can really help you to like, you know, move your hand this way, change your stance. We can really kind of constructively criticize and help to lift you up so that you can get to the next level of adjusting. We need more docs adjusting properly rather than these adjustments that are everywhere, just making things cavitate and pop, but not actually doing the patient a service. So if you're ever in Miami, come check us out. If you need to pause this, you know, rewind it, watch it again and again and again, do it. I really want you to get it down from the tissue pull to the stance to the follow through. I want you to really get down how to do a seated cervical and we will be doing more videos like this. So make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'm gonna get the content to you to help you to be the best you can.